like I said, this is about professional wrestling. You got guys like Mr. Anderson and Mick Foley out here talking all this jazz. One openly admits he's an asshole. The other started all this madness with a barbed wire baseball bat. So who are they to tell you what you should and shouldn't do? I mean, come on, man. Just listen to your heart and create your own destiny. Guys like Ric Flair and Eric Bischoff, they'll tell you straight up to your face when they're going to screw you. I think you know that. So all I'm saying is tonight, in that match, you think about what I've said and may the best team win. Introducing at this time, from Hendersonville, Tennessee, weighing in at 234 pounds, he is Jeff Jarrett. And look at this. Once again, Jeff Jarrett using Kurt Angle's signature entrance. And now being joined as he heads to the ring by the other members of Team Jarrett. You know, for the past two weeks here on Impact, we have witnessed Immortals MMA specialist Jeff Jarrett put up $100,000 of his own money, open challenges to members of the Impact Zone crowd. I wonder what man, woman, or child will accept this week. Well, those are a few of the members from Jeff Jarrett's dojo, his students. That's Gunnar Murphy right there. DNA t-shirts, but uh, I don't know, man. This is just Jared. It's just I'm telling you, someone is gonna get hurt. <laughs> People today will do anything for money. I don't know. And a hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollars, a lot of money. Just think, the last two weeks, how many people in the Impact Zone audience stepped up, raised their hand, yep. came right down to the guardrail, and well, tried to go even further yeah. to get it, Jeff Jarrett. And, and the ones that were picked as volunteers, it didn't really fare too well for them. And of course, they were picked by Jeff Jarrett. Oh uh, yeah. If you notice, there's uh, yeah, just notice. He can't be that hard on Jarrett. He's in a Christian spirit. He's uh, he's got a shot of his feet. He's got one eye for tape green, one tape red. Look at that Christmas spirit. There you go. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Next thing he's going to tell me, because he's got the hundred thousand dollars at stake, he's probably in the you know the giving mood here at the holiday season. Oh, it's the festive time. I mean, you know, sure, he's in a giving mood. Absolutely. Looks like he's ready to go, man. Look at him. Fire it up. Are we ready, boys? Are we ready? You know, it's been several weeks since I first issued the Double J, Double M, A challenge. And that challenge being, if any man, woman, or child could make me submit or tap out, then I would pony up a hundred thousand dollars of my own cold hard cash and i've got to tell you people i've got to listen listen to me damn it i've got to tell you one thing i am very 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 disappointed in each and every one of you because it has become painfully obvious that nobody... Painfully obvious that nobody can make me to tap or submit. So what I'm having to do tonight is open it up to the professionals. And there's a guy in the back that impressed the hell out of me last week. I mean, he faced one of the toughest, nastiest, meanest SOBs that's ever stepped foot in a professional wrestling ring, and that's Brother Ray. That's right. Amazing Red caught my eye last week. And Red, I feel like you deserve a second chance. So why don't you come on out here? And I'm going to give you the opportunity of a lifetime to get some of Double J's money. Now, get out here. Well, that's very nice of, uh, don't you think that's nice of Jared? I mean, it's, no, you don't think so. Just by the look, you just give me a look like that. Very nice. So Jeff's going to open it up to the pros, but then at the same time, he's also going to handpick and hand select his opponent. Introducing from Brooklyn, New York, the amazing Red. Oh, Red, he's smiling a little bit. He's... 
Bring back six figures to New York, right? Yeah, that's all right. I might be on the same flight as him. The wrong with 100K? Yeah, Earl Hebb, what's Earl Hebb to say? Earl Hebb is going to fight Garrett? Well, I thought Earl was going to go in. It feels like it's the, like, like the TSA at the airport. What's going on here? <laughs> Is he flying? What's the story here? Next stop, the body scan for Amazing yeah, Red. Put, put it on it. Put it on it. What is it? Is it who? Is this doctor? Who's putting like, some kind of a uh, maldehyde on him? What's he doing? Red's not used to this. He's not a boxer. He's like, come on, man. Plus, you, you can tell. You can tell that... that that he's got it in his eyes. He's, eye. he's got his eyes. So now, let me get this right. Jarrett not only has a height and a weight advantage, but he also has a sight advantage over Amazing Red. Oh, well, yeah, and, and that Red is blinded by whatever Jarrett's uh, doctor put on. Some sort of a Vaseline, I guess. Oh, my God, look at, look at Jarrett. Just round and pound with that rear mount. Showing, yeah, the, the shot. showing the power of his strikes, the repeated blows to the back of oh, Red. Man, look at those going for that ankle lock. You've seen him use this early on. Third angle is ankle lock. But look at Red's ankle. Got that thing twisted a bit there. Oh, watch it. We know about the heart and courage of this kid. Red's but I mean, face, come on. Red's face is red. Trying to fight through that pain. Doesn't want to tap. Got a lot of heart, this kid. He's going to have to tap. He's thinking about the 100,000. Tap out. Got no choice. The winner of the match via ankle lock submission, Chef Sharon. Wow, man, amazing red. He could not get out of the box from Jump Street. Watch that doctor put on whatever the heck he put on. Red had gotten his eyes, as you said, and Jared really took advantage of that situation. You ready for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Look, okay. We might be going into the mash with one body. I got this. Those two share one brain. Okay, but this is it's tough as nails, so don't forget to feed them to me. But um, does this make me look fat? No, it doesn't make you look fat at all. Is look that... at you. Hello. Hi. Okay, okay, all right, all right. We all were right. made to be champions. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just make it quick because I have a party to go to with Generation Me, so. Of course you do. You big coo. Wanna come? You big coo. Do you wanna go? No, you. I'm gonna go. Again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Still to come, it's Team Beer Money versus Team Motor City Machine Guns in an eight-man tag, and it's for the TNA World Tag Team Titles, and it's tonight on Impact. Well, here it is. Tonight's the night, man. Finally, tonight. Just, just a matter of minutes. Finally, after what, like three months of waiting patiently and playing Bischoff's games and walking through his obstacle courses and mazes. And finally, now it comes down to tonight, and I can't wait. I'm going to be looking across the ring at Jeff Hardy, and he's going to be looking at Rob Van Dam's boot. Oh, can't wait. Huge edge for Generation Me. It's a tag team competing in this four-way match where the winner is the number one contender for the X Division title. And now, introducing the TNA X Division champion of the world, Shay Lathan. Oh! Champs in the house. The new X Division champ. And he's heading over here. We're going to have him join us as a guest commentator. And who better to have in this four-way match to determine who the number one contender is for our X Division champion than the champ himself, Gene Lethal on commentary. Take a seat, my man. Let's set the belt up all nicey nice. Come on. Check that out. Like that. Introducing, making his way to the ring accompanied by Cookie, he is Robbie E. 
Oh, boy. Put a face on Cookie, and my man Rob Bob the hands up extra high. Now be careful. Watch, watch your fist pop oh, his hands. Oh, 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 I can't help it. Oh, you really like that. That's funny. You know, I'm a New York guy. Taz, let's go back. Let's document what we just talked about last week on Impact when Jay Lethal challenged Robbie E for the exhibition title. Well, Christy Heavy handcuffed herself to Cookie to prevent her from interfering again. And then you, Lethal, you capitalized and were victorious in capturing the exhibition title. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That makes me the sixth time exhibition champion. Amazing. And the feeling is unbelievable. Oh, that, that is something to be proud of. I Big thanks to agree. Christy. Oh, you got a, you need a redhead to help you? Come on, buddy. <laughs> there was a big one. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh! This guy has to do it while you're next to me. I feel artist. bad. I feel bad doing the fist bump while you're next to me. And now, introducing competitor number four, representing Fortune from Anaheim, California. He is Kazarian. I'm Kazarian looking right at you, Jay, and pointing to you. No, he wants, he wants that exhibition title also. Hey, well, it's no secret that every champion has a target on their back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a big one on you, buddy. I don't mind. And the pressure is squarely on Kazarian, and that pressure comes from Hulk Hogan, Rick Flair, Eric Bischoff. With the mortal on that mission to win all the TNA titles, Kazarian needs a win, and he needs it right now to qualify as Jay Lethal's opponent upcoming January the 9th in Genesis. Well, a win for any one of these guys today is only half the battle because they got to get through the six-time exhibition chances. Yeah, That's this is the point. first step. That's for sure. I mean, if you had to pick one of these four to face at Genesis, it would be your choice, Jay. Wow, if I had to pick? Wow, I mean, uh, Robbie uh, somehow has seemed to master the art of cheating him and Cookie, so it's, it's like a handicap match for those guys. Uh, I've never seen Jen Mi apart. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're always together, but yeah. this is an every man for himself match here. And Jen Mi are men, even though they're wearing those pants. Right. <laughs> they're going to go against each other now. Yeah. This is two brothers. Uh-oh. What is happening for? And... Yeah! Oh, look, they're all jacked up. Look at that. Jen Mi. Look at the shenanigans. They're huge. They're huge. It's like... Uh, like all of them loose for Rigno back in there. Look, oh, 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 look. You know what I mean? Taz, when you make that sound, you encourage him. He watches this back, and it just encourages him. Jay, what do you think about this advantage that Generation B has in this four-way match? The two brothers, Max and Jeremy Buck. Huge advantage, but only one man can face me for the extra title, so I'm not too worried about that. Well, like, like I 